Hi, this is Craig Tiener for the Radiant Vista Daily Critique. This image was submitted by Clive, who is an intermediate photographer from Scotland. I love the framing here, and I love the feeling of being drawn into this space because of the quality of light. It's just absolutely awesome how in the framing and the row of trees on the left and the right, very dark, very mysterious, and we just start to get more and more light down in here in what looks like sort of a bed of ferns. And then we have this real strong light out in the background. And, and then the real high contrast, very powerful diagonal. Um, for me, this image is just so simple in terms of the framing and uh, how quality of light is simplifying things. I mean, uh, there is a very graphic quality to the row of trees. But even with that, um, what's making this such an exceptional image to my eye is the combination of the simple framing with the quality of light and then what's happening with the light and how the scene is changing in the background, going from very graphic to this real soft feeling up here. Um, it, this almost looks like feathers, very filigreed, very gentle. And, um, and then this very archetypal shape back here, opening with the line across it. I mean, um, there's so much from an archetypal standpoint that you could say about this image after I get past the fact that it's a very simple, very graphic, very beautiful quality of light and very uh, much a deep image that draws me in, then you have this archetype of this idea of an entrance and then the line in front of it sort of blocking the entrance. Very powerful on a lot of levels. The other thing that's interesting to me about this image is just the way that color is playing. The green of the ferns are really beautiful, but there's something uh, that's just hinted at up in uh, this area where we're seeing uh, the limbs and the fur of the fir trees that is just pushing towards or hinting at magenta and that's a really beautiful complement here uh, to the green and the technical data on this image is, is interesting too. Um, Clive shot this with a Canon Rebel and the focal length is listed as a hundred millimeters and I not can't quite tell from the metadata if that's before or after the conversion. Either way, it's a telephoto, and if it's uh, before the conversion, then this is more like 160 millimeters, so quite compressed here. So compression will be having a big effect on the way that we're seeing this relative to the way that you might see it where you were there. So in other words, uh, the compression would be doing uh, quite a job of making these trees seem like they're more stacked up on each other, which would really simplify this scene. The other interesting thing about the metadata is that Clive shot this near wide open at f4. If you look at this file a little bit bigger, you can see that it's softer in here and sharper back here. I think that's really helping the shot. It's really contributing to this feeling of being drawn in to this space along with the idea of the light. And the other thing is that Clive shot this at a 1 25th of a second at ISO 800. And that makes me think that Clive may have been shooting a uh, handheld here. You know, if you're on the tripod, then you could shoot it at a lower ISO and just go with a longer shutter speed. So it'd be interesting to hear from Clive about this, whether he did shoot handheld. And if he did, he did a great job of shooting handheld with this long of a focal length. Um, a really fascinating image. And um, I have to do this. I have to just look at it in black and white because uh, to me it really lends itself to that. Something interesting about the image is as much as I liked it, I played around for a second with cleaning it up a little bit to make it more graphic. So I started to go down that road and you can see what I did over on the left. But the interesting thing about this particular image is that once I started to do that, I just felt like there was going to be no end to it. Once I did that, I felt like, okay, now I'm going to need to come in and clean this up and, and, it, and then start working up in here. And it will just start to get too static and too clean. And even with some of these areas, you know, that are a little bit uh, rough or, or, or aren't quite going with the pattern like this opening, uh, it's still very powerful and still feels overall uh, very balanced. The main thing that I love about this image is what the quality of light is doing for this subject. It's, it's just spectacular. And we want to thank Clive for submitting this image to the Radiant Vista Daily Critique.